What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited for this video. It's not a makeup video. So basically I went on Shine Sheen. I can never say it right. Like I've been told it numerous times how to say it properly and I'm still like, huh? <clears throat> um, so I got it in the mail. Yeah, today. And I didn't realize it was already like on the way on the way. So my dad was like, you got a package. I was like, I got a package. I was like, it shouldn't be here yet. And I was like, oh. It's here. I was like, let's go. So I'm going to share with you guys everything that I got. So first off, we have these beautiful rings. I just got this pack of like, I don't know, 10 or something, but I'm wearing some right now. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. I lied. Hold on. This one I got to turn around, so it's got a little... I got these... This is my original one right here. So I just put this next to it, but they fit good. Um, all of them are kind of just like the same size. Some are a little bit smaller, like, you know, it'll fit like on this ring or something, but they're not bad and they're really cute. I love them. We just have to see how long it takes for them to turn green. <laughs> um, Cause I can't remember if they're real or not. And I'm excited for these. I got these earrings and I have to check online cause I kind of forgot if they're actually like, real or not. You feel me? Like sterling, but this is what I got. Just a bunch of different sizes and options. Cause I I do not have a a good palette, let's just say, for earrings right now. Like I'm stuck with like a couple pairs and I'm, that's it. So I was like, I need a new new pairs, new designs, new styles. Also, can you guys guess what this is? Glasses? What did someone say? Glasses? Brownie points. It is a pair of glasses. It does come with a cute little pink rag. So these, I'm pretty sure these are blue light glasses. So these I will be wearing at work or just whenever I feel like it. So these are actually so cute. I'm going to be wearing these a lot, to be honest with you. Um, so there's that. Oh, 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 wait, wait. I also got these bougie sunglasses. Like these are literally my favorite style. I'm just like obsessed with them. It's just to me it says rich glasses, like rich person glasses, you know? Like like a bushy. This is like Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion vibes right here. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so those are those. And I'm excited because I got a so here's a funny story. I thought I only bought one wig, but apparently I did end up buying two. So this one is supposed to be like a very long, I think it's either dark brown or black, I can't remember. Um, but it's just supposed to be like long wavy hair. Like I'm talking like down to here long. So I'm excited for that. This one is like a, a beautiful purple hue and I don't know what well, you can kind of tell. Let me see if I can take it out of this bag. <gasps> Look how beautiful. Oh, you see that purple? Oh, oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> I think I might do a hair video after this, like where I'm trying these on. Um, okay, then we've got, this is that, so it is a brown, it is a very dark brown. Oh, this looks beautiful, oh my god. Okay, this next part is not for the faint of heart. I got some sexy outfits, some lingerie, because I never treat myself to anything like that, because I'm like, I'm a single mother, I haven't had sex in over a year, why do I need sexy things? But you know what, it's good, even if you're not with anyone, or not trying to be with anyone, it's still good to make sure that, you know, you love your body, and if you want to get yourself some lingerie, just do it. Like, it, it's not sin, it's not wrong, it's not against the law, like, you know what I mean? Like, who cares? It's your body. Your body, your choice. So, this is this top. I'm super excited about this. I don't know if it's going to fit me. I don't know. I'm scared. But that's the top, and then these are... <laughs> these are um the bottoms um and as you can see you can kind of adjust them so if you need to be bigger smaller i really hope this fits me i have a feeling it's going to be a little big so once i wash it i'm sure it'll fit good um i feel like the top will actually fit and something i've struggled with growing up with clothes um it's always fitting this area it's always a struggle so usually it'll be too tight up here but it'll fit everywhere else or it'll be too big up here 
and fit everywhere else. So it's just, it's always hard for me to find something that like can fit my chest area without making everything look big or, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Girls who got big chests, you know what I mean? Okay, so next, oh, I think I got a hoodie. I think that was the only sexy set I got. I didn't, I do not remember what I shot for. <gasps> I remember this. Oh, I oh, this feels so soft. Oh, oh my god. It's a whole thing, man. Look at this. And you guys, it's so soft. Mm. Like, look at the inside. You feel that? It's so soft. Mm. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mom life, let's go. Oh, you can definitely feel the plastic on there. It better stay on here when I wash it. That's what I do know. I have to wash this carefully, though. Let's see, this is a large. Wow, sorry, this is not working out at all. Oh, and I forgot, for the lingerie, the size that I ordered, I want to say was a large as well. I always try to order big because of my boobs. Oh, it's an extra large. It's an extra large, you see that? I'm scared, oh dear. <laughs> Um, well, see, I would show, try this on and show you guys, but I feel like that's not appropriate for this channel. It's just not. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna throw this out there really fast. I do have an OnlyFans, and hit me up if you're interested. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so basically, that is what I got from Sheen, Shine, Sheen? I think it's Sheen. I don't think it's Shine. That sounds wrong. It's Sheen. Thank you, Sheen. God bless you. I am very excited to try these products. Um, I am going to be making another video to try on the hair and everything. And we're going to see if I look snatched. So thank you for watching. I know that was really short. Um, also, quick life update. We took my little man to the ER yesterday because he was getting really labored um, slash fast breathing. And he threw up yesterday. He wouldn't eat a drink for over an hour. We took him to the ER because we're like, look, something's wrong. Like, he's been sick for two months. All these doctors keep telling us that he's fine. Nothing's wrong. Like, just watch him. I'm like, dude, I've been watching for two months. Nothing's getting better. If anything, it's getting worse. So we discovered that he has sleep apnea. Like, at the ER yesterday, when he finally slept, like, we were able to, because, like, think about it. When you put your baby to sleep, you don't watch them sleep. Like, yeah, you have a monitor, but you're not sitting there, like, watching everything they do. You know what I mean? Like, they're asleep. You're listening for, like, if they're crying. So, since he was at the ER, we actually got to see how he sleeps and broke. It was scary. Um, there would be times where all of a sudden he would just stop breathing for, like, three seconds. And you would just look at him and be like, is he fucking dead? Like, I'm not shooting you. Like, it was, I got scared last night. And y'all know me. Like, I don't really freak out with my kid. But that scared me last night. Watching his heartbeat go from, like, well, the oxygen levels. You're supposed to stay in between 90 to 100 is what I learned. I literally a couple times watched him go from 90 all the way to 70. That's not good. That means you're getting not that much oxygen and you you should not be below even 80 at 90. I mean, if you are a little bit like not a big deal, still kind of a concern, but dude, 70 that that's no bueno. So, eventually he was getting better um so it's it's been a lot. I'm exhausted, I'm overwhelmed, but um we're doing it and we're we're doing it. So, yeah, to any parents out there, single parents or not single parents, you got this. And I know it's hard. And kids are not fucking easy, man. And whoever the fuck said to have kids and that it'll be fun, that's only a portion of it. Okay, that's only a portion. Okay? Y'all did not tell us about this stuff. You just didn't. And, like, babysitting, like, I saw it. and But, like... It's so different when you have your own kid because it hits home more because it is your home now. Like, that is your home. That's your everything. And everything you do can affect it. And it's it's scary. It's overwhelming. It's cool. It's nerve-wracking. It's exciting. It's, it's everything. <laughs> um, but don't give up. Keep going. You're strong. It might not feel like you're... It might feel like you're not, but you are. You are strong and you will get through it. So, good luck to all the babies out there. Feel better. Parents feel better. Rest up if you can. If not, drink lots of energy drinks. Whatever gets you going. Um, but anyway, I'm done now. That was a quick life update. Um, so we'll just have to... We got him a new antibiotic, so we'll see how he does. He's been doing a little bit better today, mood-wise. Like, he's wanting to play more. He still doesn't want to eat solid foods. But, like, he put a Cheeto in his mouth, and, like, he chewed for two seconds. And then it was like, I'm done. <laughs> so he's getting there. It's just... 
It's been scary, man. But anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you later, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more.